What if I told you that history as we know it is incomplete? That the discovery of electricity wasn't a modern breakthrough, but a rediscovery of something far older? The story we've been told credits Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Edison, and Nikola Tesla with harnessing the power of electricity. But what if civilizations thousands of years ago already knew how to generate and use it? Sounds impossible, right? But the clues are there, hidden in ancient artifacts, carved into temple walls, and scattered throughout history. Some researchers believe that electricity was not only understood, but used in the ancient world, from Mesopotamia to Egypt. Even more shocking, Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest inventors of all time, may have stumbled upon these ancient secrets. And it could be the reason his work was mysteriously erased from history. Tesla wasn't just a brilliant scientist, he was a visionary. He dreamed of a world where electricity was free and wireless, where energy could be pulled from the Earth itself, just like ancient civilizations may have done. He built the Wardenclyffe Tower, a massive structure designed to transmit power wirelessly across great distances. He claimed he had found a way to tap into the natural energy of the planet, much like the mysterious structures of the past may have done. But, just as Tesla was on the brink of success, something strange happened. His funding was cut. His laboratory was destroyed. His research mysteriously disappeared. Some say he was silenced, his knowledge suppressed because it was too dangerous to those in power. Was Tesla onto something? Could his discoveries have been connected to an ancient energy system lost to time? And if so, who didn't want us to know? In this deep dive, we'll uncover the evidence of ancient electricity, how Tesla's work may have connected to it, and why this knowledge seems to have been buried. Get ready, because what you're about to learn may change everything you thought you knew about history. For centuries, historians have dismissed the idea that ancient civilizations understood electricity. After all, the modern electrical age began just a little over 200 years ago. But what if evidence suggests otherwise? Scattered throughout history are strange artifacts, mysterious carvings, and unexplained technologies that point to an ancient knowledge of electrical power. One of the most famous pieces of evidence is the Baghdad Battery, a 2,000-year-old clay jar discovered in Iraq. At first glance, it seems like an ordinary vessel, but inside, archaeologists found a copper cylinder, an iron rod, and traces of an acidic substance, all the essential components needed to generate an electric charge. When modern scientists recreated this ancient device, they discovered that it could produce up to 1.1 volts of electricity. But why would an ancient civilization need a primitive battery? Some theories suggest it was used for electroplating, a technique that coats metal objects with gold or silver. Others believe it might have powered small lamps, similar to early electrical lighting. The biggest question remains, where did this knowledge come from? Did the ancient Mesopotamians stumble upon electricity by accident? Or were they using a forgotten technology that predates recorded history? And if they knew about electrical currents, what else could they have understood? Deep within the Temple of Hathor in Dendera, Egypt, lies one of the most puzzling ancient carvings ever discovered. Depicted on the temple walls is a set of elongated glass-like structures with snake-like filaments inside and connected to a power source. To the untrained eye, it may just seem like another strange hieroglyph, but to modern electrical engineers, it looks shockingly similar to a light bulb. The Dendera light bulb theory suggests that the ancient Egyptians may have had access to electrical lighting. This could explain why there are no soot marks in deep tombs and temples, marks that should be present if they were using torches for illumination. Instead, could they have been using a form of electric lighting powered by something we have yet to understand? 
Skeptics argue that the carving simply represents a religious symbol, but experiments have shown that ancient materials could have been used to create working light sources. If this is true, it means the Egyptians might have been far more advanced than we ever imagined. Another strange anomaly is the existence of electroplated artifacts found in ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, and even South America. Electroplating is a process that requires electricity to coat objects in metal, yet historians claim it wasn't invented until the 19th century. Several ancient objects, including gold-plated jewelry and silver-coated statues, show evidence of electrochemical processes that modern scientists have replicated using low-voltage electricity. Could this mean that the ancients had a practical use for electricity beyond simple batteries? Even more intriguing, some researchers believe the pyramids and other megalithic structures may have been part of an advanced energy grid, harnessing the Earth's natural electrical properties. If true, this could mean Tesla's vision for wireless power was not new. It was simply a rediscovery of something much older. The more we examine history, the more we realize there are huge gaps in what we understand. Could these artifacts be the missing pieces of a forgotten electrical age? And if the ancients knew about electricity, where did their knowledge come from? Nikola Tesla wasn't just an inventor. He was a man ahead of his time. His ideas about electricity, wireless energy, and tapping into the Earth's natural energy fields were so advanced that even today, scientists struggle to fully understand them. But what if Tesla wasn't just a genius? What if he had rediscovered something that ancient civilizations already knew? Tesla dreamed of a world where electricity was free and limitless, a world where power could be transmitted through the air without the need for wires. His most famous experiment in wireless electricity was the Wardenclyffe Tower, built in the early 1900s. This massive structure was meant to send electricity across vast distances without wires. Tesla believed he had found a way to harness the Earth's own electrical charge, using the planet itself as a giant conductor. He once stated, the Earth is literally alive with electrical vibrations. He theorized that if energy could be drawn directly from the atmosphere or the ground, every home, every city, and every nation could have unlimited power without the need for fuel, coal, or costly infrastructure. But just as Tesla was on the verge of proving his theory, funding was cut and his project was abandoned. His backer, J.P. Morgan, realized that if electricity became free, the massive profits of energy companies would collapse. And just like that, the dream of free power vanished. Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower was a remarkable structure designed to function as a global energy transmitter. It was based on the idea that the Earth itself could be used as a massive electrical circuit, transmitting power across vast distances. Tesla's experiments showed that electrical currents could be sent through the ground with almost no loss of energy. In his own words, my apparatus transmits energy through the Earth without loss at any distance. Sound familiar? Ancient structures like the pyramids of Egypt and other megalithic monuments have been suspected to serve similar energy functions. Some theorists believe the Great Pyramid may have been designed as a wireless power station, drawing energy from the Earth's natural electromagnetic fields, much like what Tesla envisioned. Was Tesla unknowingly following in the footsteps of an ancient technology that had been lost for centuries? And if so, why was he stopped? There are eerie similarities between Tesla's wireless energy theories and what we see in ancient sites. The Baghdad battery resembles early electrical experiments. The Dendera light bulb looks like a form of electrical lighting. And the Great Pyramid's design may have been an ancient power plant. Tesla's dream was clean, wireless, and unlimited energy, a vision that sounds suspiciously similar to what these ancient artifacts suggest. 
Could it be that Tesla wasn't inventing something new, but instead rediscovering something ancient? And if Nikola Tesla was on the verge of revolutionizing the world with wireless electricity, why was his work shut down, erased, and buried? Why do we hear so much about Thomas Edison, but so little about the man who wanted to give the world free energy? The answer lies in power, control, and money. Tesla's discoveries didn't just threaten the energy industry. They threatened the very foundation of wealth and influence. Tesla had no interest in wealth. He wanted to make electricity free for everyone. But the men who controlled the world's energy markets had other plans. Tesla's greatest financial backer, J.P. Morgan, was a ruthless businessman who controlled vast resources, including the copper mines that produced electrical wires. When Tesla proposed wireless electricity, Morgan asked a simple question. If anyone can draw power from the air, where do we put the meter? That was all it took. The idea of free energy was too dangerous for the banking and energy elite. If people no longer needed to pay for electricity, oil, coal, and energy companies would collapse. At the same time, Thomas Edison, Tesla's former employer, worked to discredit him. Edison supported direct current DC power, which was profitable but inefficient. Tesla's alternating current AC was far superior, but it couldn't be monopolized as easily. Edison launched a smear campaign, even electrocuting animals in public to show how dangerous Tesla's AC power was. Tesla won the battle as AC became the standard for electrical power. But his war for wireless energy had just begun. And this time, his enemies were far more powerful. After Tesla lost funding for Wardenclyffe Tower, things got even stranger. In 1895, Tesla's laboratory mysteriously burned down, destroying years of research. In 1943, when Tesla died, the US government seized all his notes and research papers. And to this day, Many of Tesla's most advanced theories remain classified or missing. Was this just bad luck? Or was there a deliberate effort to erase his work? Some researchers believe Tesla's experiments proved that free, unlimited energy was possible. And that was a secret too dangerous to let the world know. And here's where things get even more suspicious. Tesla claimed he was working on a project inspired by ancient energy systems. Could it be that the knowledge of wireless power wasn't just his own discovery, but something he had pieced together from lost civilizations? Consider this. Tesla believed the Earth itself could conduct energy, just like theories about the Great Pyramid of Giza. His ideas about resonance and vibration align with what some researchers suggest about ancient stone structures. And he spoke of ancient technologies that worked on principles we still don't understand today. If Nikola Tesla was correct, then everything we know about energy, history, and technology needs to be questioned. What if Tesla's discoveries weren't just about the future, but about unlocking a lost technology from the past? What if ancient civilizations had already figured out wireless energy and that knowledge was deliberately buried, only to be rediscovered by Tesla and buried again? The implications are huge. If Tesla's theories and the evidence of ancient electricity are true, then we are living in a world where free energy has been deliberately hidden from us. Tesla believed that the Earth itself was a massive electrical conductor, and some researchers believe that ancient civilizations already knew this. Take the Great Pyramid of Giza, for example. Unlike traditional tombs, this massive structure has some very strange properties. It contains no burial remains, unlike other Egyptian tombs. Its inner chambers are lined with granite, a material that conducts electricity. It was originally covered in white limestone, which could have acted as an insulator. And its location aligns with the Earth's electromagnetic grid. 
Some theorists suggest that the Great Pyramid wasn't a tomb at all. It was a power plant. The idea is that it drew energy from the Earth and transmitted it wirelessly, much like what Tesla envisioned with his Wardenclyffe Tower. Other megalithic structures around the world, such as Teotihuacan in Mexico and the ancient temples of India, show similar architectural alignments. Could these have been part of a global energy network, just like Tesla hoped to build? Tesla wanted to give the world free, wireless energy, but that never happened. Instead, we live in a world where we are dependent on power companies that charge for electricity. The oil industry profits trillions of dollars from energy sales. And wars are fought over energy resources. Now, imagine if Tesla's technology, or the energy system used by the ancients, was revealed to the public. No more power plants, no more fuel dependency, no more energy bills. This would completely collapse the industries that control modern civilization. The world runs on scarcity where people must pay for basic needs. Free energy would create abundance, and those in power don't want that. It's no wonder Tesla's work was silenced. Just like ancient knowledge of energy may have been buried, Tesla's research was locked away and erased from history. If Tesla's theories were true, then the biggest conspiracy in history is happening right before our eyes. Imagine a future where Electricity is wireless and free, just like the Internet. Homes and vehicles are powered by the Earth's own energy, without fuel. Energy monopolies collapse, giving people true independence. But here's the real question. Is this knowledge still being hidden from us? Tesla's research remains classified. Many of his inventions were never developed and any attempt to explore wireless energy is quickly shut down. But what if this is the future we were meant to have? If ancient civilizations had it, and Tesla rediscovered it, then maybe it's only a matter of time before we uncover it again. The real question is, will we be allowed to?